Hello learners, I am Pankaj Bhoryal welcoming you all to our YouTube channel, The PM Tutorials. The topic that I'll be discussing with you all today is one of the most important events in Indian history, that is Jallianwala Bagh Massacre. Massacre means mass killing. On Sunday, 13th April 1919, General Dyer convinced a major insurrection could take place, banned all the meetings. This notice was not widely disseminated and many villages gathered in the Bagh to celebrate the important Sikh festival of Baisakhi and peacefully protest the arrest and deportation of two national leaders Satyapal and Saifuddin Kishlu. Dyer and his troops entered the garden, blocking the main entrance behind them, took up position on a raised bank and with no warning whatsoever opened fire on the crowd for about 10 minutes, directing their bullets largely towards the few open gates through which people were trying to flee, until the ammunition supply was almost exhausted. The following day, Dyer stated in a report that, I hear that between 200 and 300 of the crowd were killed. My party fired 1650 rounds. The Hunter Commission report published the following year by the government of India criticized both Dyer and the government of Punjab for failing to compile a casualty count and quoted a figure offered by the Seva Samiti of 379 identified dead and approximately 11,000 wounded of which 192 were seriously injured. The casualty number estimated by the Indian National Congress was more than 1,500 injured with approximately 1,000 dead. This overall summary is that the general Dyer's troops was target tha, wo the crowd of non-violent protesters along with Baisakhi pilgrims who were gathered in the Jalewala Bagh, Amritsar. Which weapons were used? LEE, Lee L -E -E, Lee Enfield Rifles. Death, deaths were 379 to 1000. Injured were 1500. Okay. And the perpetrators the, they were riflemen of Gurkha Rifles, the 54th, 6th and the 59th Sindh Rifles, British India Army. Okay. This incident shows the amount of enmity the Britishers had against us. Without any warning, killing the unarmed people was sheer, sheer brutality. This was an incident. Now let's talk about the consequences, that means the results. Crowds took to the streets in many North Indian towns. There were strikes, clashes with the police and attacks on the government buildings means the people became violent. They forgot the idea of uh, Gandhiji. The idea of Gandhiji was to be non-violent throughout. A government, tha, British government, UNESCO, the response diya, it was also very, very brutal. Government responded with brutal repression. Satyagrahis were forced to rub their noses on the ground, crawl on the streets, do salam to all sides. Villages were also bombed. Seeing this violence, Gandhiji called off the movement. That's it guys. I hope you will understand this topic properly. For more such uh, informative videos, uh, do subscribe our channel right now. We need your love and support. Please comment. Your suggestions are always most welcome. Until the next video, bye, take care and God bless.